Well, I can't find my phone. All right, so my friend Kylie is a fashion blogger and she is going to help me DIY cut. Caleb, what happened? How did they find, oh no! <gasps> Thanks for brushing her hair, my girl. Hey, cutie. Good morning, Janae. Good morning, cutie Janae. Oh, you yeah. little stinker. Tomorrow morning, Jeremy and Janae and I are flying off for a few days, and the big kids are gonna stay here. Jeremy's brother, Travis, and our sister-in-law, Ashley, are gonna be babysitting the kids. So I'm trying to make sure that everything's ready for the kids that are staying here, you know, the house being ready, the school stuff ready for them to go, meal planning, grocery shopping, that kind of stuff. And I'm also trying to make sure that we're ready for our trip. You know, what clothes are we gonna wear? And do I have everything that the baby's gonna need while we're gone? And just all the logistics of everything. Ugh. My mind, I cannot think straight this morning, but right now I'm trying to tackle nine loads of laundry. Running some errands. It's time to clean out the fridge. Dad, I want to clean out the fridge. You want to be my little helper? But first I need milk in, in, in that cup. What do you say? Please. Is that the cup you want? Why do we have to clean up the fridge, Dan? Because we just have too much stuff in there and we need to clean it up. Well, I am headed to my freezer group that I go to once a month to make a bunch of freezer meals for my family. And I'm excited because this will give some fresh freezer meals for my sister-in-law to use with my family while we're gone. And then, of course, some good ones for me to eat when we get home. So I'll see if I can show you guys what I'm making. I think I'm making black bean spinach enchiladas, which is yummy and actually really healthy. batches of this black bean enchiladas. It's really good and there's so many other great meals here today. I'm excited to try them all. Except for the camera didn't open all the way. Oops. Here now you can see me. Red and white pasta and there's like a pesto chicken penne and then there's this chili pork verde something that everybody's loving the sauce for so I'm excited to go home. I like want to eat dinner right now. Thanks for helping, ma'am. That's a lot of paper. Yeah, there's a lot of trash in our house, huh? You my helper? Good job, Cub. Well, I can't find my phone. I can't find it anywhere. It's been lost for about five hours at this point. I searched both cars. We cleaned like our whole house, which we were planning on cleaning our house anyway before we left, but we still haven't found it. And I know I had it when I came home. And so it's gotta be somewhere, but we're leaving on our trip tomorrow and I keep having people, I'm like, oh, I need to text them about this, or oh, I need to, and I can't do anything because I don't have my phone. So, uh, starting to get kind of worried about that. Caleb, what happened? I got a paper cut. How did you get that big of a paper cut? I was sliding papers on and it cut me. Just sliding them around. All right, let's go get that cleaned up, okay? So my friend Kylie is a fashion blogger and she is going to help me DIY cut these brand new white jeggings because I feel like they're too long. I want them to be more summery and ankly. And I saw her do it and so she's gonna help me figure out 
where to cut them and how to do this. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. No problem. So here they are, long. It's scary to cut something that's brand new. What is going on here? We're driving. Yeah, to Arizona to eat lunch. You're driving to Arizona to eat lunch? It's us. Just you guys? Yeah. Are you the dad? Yeah, I've been before the other. Oh, I know. So are you it the mom? Is. Yeah. And no big people go in this car because it's only for us. Oh, it's only for you guys? Mm-hmm. All right, well, have fun in lunch in Arizona. Where are you going to go to lunch? Arizona. Bye. Well, Hy-Vee is here to get our groceries, and when they brought it, they also handed me this. Kendra's phone was in the middle of the street. That's why we couldn't find it. So Kendra just got back from piano, and I'm gonna show her what I found. I like that idea. Did you find something? Yes, Hy-Vee found it. How did they find it? Oh, no! <gasps> It was in the road. Oh no! I know. There's good news though. How is that even possible? Maybe you put it on top of the car. Oh my goodness. What's the good news? The phone isn't damaged, I don't think. It's just the case. It's oh just my the cover. I think the phone is fine and it functions. Oh. Guys, that looks bad. I know. That, uh, that How extra case. How did they case. figure out that it was ours? So the high V person comes up and says, do you know Natalia? And I'm like, no, but that's my wife's phone. And she's like, well, Natalia has been texting her. And I was like, well, thank you. We've been looking, you know, for the phone. But she said it was right in front of our neighbor's mailbox, two feet out. Look, so it was out in the street in front of our house. It was in front of our house. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I probably did put it on top of the car. Yeah, that must but have been it. We would have heard I, it, you would think. No, like I left the house and I was looking for it, and then I circled back around and I actually looked on top of the car, but I didn't look in the street. Yeah. How oh, crazy. But it works. It works, that I think. That is really good news. I mean, I pushed buttons and got should it. Should I, uh... Maybe we should go get a new case? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> should I get a new case, y'all? Let's see. a new phone. Yeah. I mean, the phone is fine. It's ringing. Janae just finished some dinner. She's burping. We're trying to get a burp out. Janae, hi. Heads are heavy. They are, they're hard to hold up. Oh, bless you. So it's just gonna be Janae and Jeremy and I on the trip. I will still miss my brothers and sisters. Oh, will you, Janae? Is that Elise being, there's a burp. The kids like to talk for Janae. I do too, it's pretty fun. Huh. I'm losing my mind. Since we found my phone, I've already lost it again, which then we found it again, but I spent a good five minutes looking for it, and then when I went to my friend's house, I left my camera there. I came home and I'm like, where's the camera? So now Jeremy's asking me where the car key is. I have no idea. I am going crazy. Okay, we're gonna get Kendra a new case. Obviously having a case is worth it. So it turned out with where our plan was at, we can upgrade to the iPhone 7. So we're gonna do that with Kendra. I'm looking right now for the different uh, protector, what are these called? So I told my friend at Freezer Group that I lost my phone and she has the coolest doofletchy thing that's on her keys that she pushes a button and it makes her phone ring. And then if she can't find her keys, she pushes the button on her phone and it rings her keys. I need that. I desperately need that. We are making progress. We just folded load of laundry number six. Load of laundry number seven is in the washing machine. Load of laundry number eight is in the dryer. And here's load of laundry number nine. Okay, so we ended up going with the silver iPhone seven. We were debating about the rose gold, which is just a more exciting way to say pink. And the pink sparkly case, what we're gonna do for now. I'd love to hear in the comments what your phone case looks like. So let me know in the comments below. Oh, 
Well, we got a new phone. Good night. Do you have sales? Oh my goodness! You feeding your sister? All right, so this is gonna be Caleb's first race. How do you feel? Good job, Laura. Go, Laura, go! So there's an open house next to one of the parade of homes. This is a perfect house for 